Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today I am going to try and solve the U Asaka's Oleo 10 puzzle. It is a level 8 difficulty puzzle, so it is not the hardest puzzle designed by U Asaka but should be quite a challenge. This Oleo 10 is a relatively new puzzle released in December 2020. This is a packing puzzle, which means the goal is to fit all the pieces into the white frame here. There are four big pieces and six small identical red circular pieces. The contrast looks amazing and I just cannot wait to see the solution. Anyway, let's jump into the puzzle and start the clock now. I will start with arranging the black pieces and try to fit it into the frame. My thinking is that it should be relatively clear if the red circles can all fit in the black pieces if they are perfectly placed. Well, obviously this, is the this first arrangement doesn't work, but this tells me one thing, which is that all the four black pieces can be placed vertically and fit into the frame. Okay, let's try some of the arrangements. This one looks a little bit more promising and it should fit one, two, three, four and five red pieces. So nope, that's not it. And let's continue to move the black pieces around. Maybe I should keep some of the black pieces stationary, but it doesn't seem to work. Changing the black pieces around and every time it feels like a near miss and I can only fit like 5 red pieces into the frame. Having solved all of Yu Asaka's previous puzzles, I have decided to think slightly out of the box when reaching the 3 minute mark. And now trying to place the black pieces horizontally. For those who are not familiar with Yu Asaka's designs, his puzzles usually contain a very interesting twist and the final solution is usually not what you sh would describe as straightforward. So don't think I have gone crazy here and kept trying some odd combinations. At 3 minutes 24 seconds I can already feel that I am close to the solution as the black pieces fit perfectly even if I place them horizontally. Now what I need to do is to find the right combination of the black pieces. This arrangement already shows a lot of promise where I can place the red pieces in the square spaces instead of the circular spaces within the black pieces. With some of the combinations there are 4 empty space square spaces for me to place the 4 red pieces and it seems I just need to find the combination of the black pieces so that there are 2 circular spaces within the black ones for the remaining circles. So this combination now fits 5 red pieces, not quite there yet. One of the reasons that the puzzle is a little bit tricky than it is is because I don't know which side the black pieces should be facing. So this increases the number of possible combinations for the black pieces. Now after trying for a few more minutes, uh, I have reached to the 8 minute mark and I feel I'm getting somewhere and by 8 minutes and 22 seconds I seem to have reached the solution and I can place all the red pieces in it and yep that's it, solved in 8 minutes and 28 seconds. Wow and this is another great puzzle by Yuasaka. This one, the final solution looks great, as I have expected at the start. The curves and the colors make the, it look like an art piece. Really love this one, it is not very difficult as you can see from the time it took me to solve it, but surely very enjoyable as a packing puzzle. The key to solving this one is to make sure the two circular spaces are made within the black pieces like so then the other pieces should fall into their own spaces. The only drawback for these packing puzzles is that the twist is so memorable that once it's solved there isn't much replay value. But anyway that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed solving this excellent puzzle together with me. If it did please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Have you solved any interesting puzzles recently? 
let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.